everybody see the blackboard screen within your collaborate room? If you can't, let me know. Good. Um, they appear to be working on the roof, so if this gets too noisy, turn your microphone on, let me know, and I'll go out there and ask them to stop working on the roof. They almost certainly have no idea that there's a class going on, so um, I'll, uh, I'll go and ask them to stop if it gets too noisy and you can't hear what I'm saying. Okay. Um, so, I'm Dr. Wall. Um, at the back of the room, you can't see him, is my GA, Ryan Anderson. And he is taking a backup film that he'll load to YouTube, just in case something happens with the archive for Collaborate Ultra. Um, I did have a class yesterday, and I checked the archive film yesterday afternoon, and it looked really nice, actually. I was pleasantly surprised. It looks um, significantly better than the archives from the previous version of Collaborate, so I'm very happy about that. Hopefully you guys will have easy access to that if you can't make it to class. Um, my plan for today is to have a look at the Blackboard site and the syllabus, and um, then on Friday, I want to look at the website for the textbooks so that you know how to maneuver your way around that website um, for worksheets and things like that. And then um, we'll also look at, by Friday I should have some of the assignments loaded for you and I can show you how those are going to work a little bit more carefully after we've looked at them in the syllabus. If you have a question, by all means, please turn your microphone back on. Give me a yell. I've got the speakers on here, so I can hear you no problem. All right, but um, in between, if you could make sure your microphones are turned off so we don't get any whistling and background noise. All right. Um, okay, so I'm going to assume that some of you are brand new to school. That may or may not be correct. Um, but um, just to take it slowly so that we can find our way very easily through the Blackboard page. Okay. When you log into Blackboard, um, actually on the login page, this information is on the login page as well, but it's here once you've logged in. If at any time you have any problems with Blackboard or with the Collaborate, your computer's not attaching properly or something's gone squiffy, then call this um, distance learning phone number here or the, the 1-800 number, 877 number here, okay? Um, don't call the IT help desk for anything to do with Blackboard and collaborate because they don't have a clue. All right, that's that's the specific domain of the distance learning office. Okay, um, so you'll have a list here of all the classes that you're registered in, and we're going to click on our concept of health and wellness. And what you will see when you click in here is this. All right. So here's the textbook that's been up for a couple of weeks, well, a week, a couple of weeks now. So hopefully most of you have managed to get your textbooks. Um, the, those of you that have joined us today obviously saw this, so that was lovely. Um, I'll show you the startup guidelines in a minute. They're just some tips for you to help you out um, with, with getting going and, and the things you need to be thinking about. The syllabus will go through and then down here is your participation agreement and then there's some other information for you if you need it as you go along. All right? Please make sure that you get your participation agreement done this week. 
um, that is tied to if you're getting financial aid. Um, I have to report participation early next week, and then that's tied to you getting your financial aid money. All right, so make sure that you complete this after you've read the syllabus thoroughly. Okay. Over here on the left is the announcements link. So the announcements should come up on your login page, but it depends how you have that page set up. If you're not seeing your announcements on your login page, then you need to make sure that you go and click on this link and check to see regularly whether there's an announcement. And the next link down is email messages. So this is where I would like you to try to contact me, okay? Um, obviously, we all have the ENMU uh, .edu account, but I get reams and reams of emails in that account, and I might not know that you've tried to contact me. If you email me through the email messages link here, I can't miss it because I get a notice on my login page that there's an email waiting for me, okay? So this is by far the best place to contact me. You can also email each other if you want to. So I'll be talking to you about the fact that we're going to do some little group discussion things, hopefully, if I can work out the technology. Um, and it may be that you, you might want to contact someone who's in your discussion group. You can do that through the email messages link as well. Okay. The next one is the discussion Q&A. So if you have a general question right, about class or about the content or about an assignment, then you can put that maybe in the discussion Q&A and then everybody can see what I type back as an answer. If you've got a more personal question, then obviously keep that to the email messages, okay? Here's our Collaborate Ultra link, and I'm going to go in here because this is also where my office hours link is for you. Okay, so down here when you click on that Collaborate Ultra, we have the course room up here, but we've also got office hours for my Monday, Wednesday times, and office hours for my Thursday time. Okay? Now, if my scheduled office hours don't work for you, that is okay, all right? Everybody has other things going on in their life. You might have another faculty member who is running a live class, or you may have a job you have to get to in the afternoons, okay? It doesn't matter. If these don't work, then all you need to do is email me that you would like an appointment, and we'll set up a Skype meeting. Right, Skype is free for you to download to your computer or your laptop and it works very well for having meetings outside of office hours, okay? So um, don't worry about it. You're going to be able to get hold of me very easily when you need to during the semester, all right? I don't want you to think that, that, that it's going to be a problem because you can't make these office hours. Okay. You're going to click on the link, it'll open up a Collaborate Classroom specifically for this, and I'll be sitting there waiting to answer your questions. Okay. Next is Class Notes. Okay. And there's a folder for the lecture notes. Now, I haven't started tackling these yet. I'm going to have to adjust them quite a lot um, for this online situation, so um, just be warned. Don't print out too many ahead of time if you're planning on printing them, because I'm going to change them around a bit and combine quite a lot of them is my current plan. And then the assignment link is here as well, and we'll look at that a bit more on Friday. Okay. Questions about the Blackboard page. No? Okay. 
If you think of something after class is over, you can always drop me an email or a discussion board and ask it then. Alright, okay, I'm going to drop that share and share. I'm going to take a look at the startup guidelines first of all. Ryan's much more techy than me, so hopefully he's going to find out how to get rid of this nasty black background thing that Microsoft has done with the new version of Word. Because I don't like it. Um, okay, so this is the startup guidelines. You may have had time to look at them briefly. Um, if you haven't, we're just going to go through them quickly. Um, as I said, it's just some tips to try to help you get started with this rather weird semester that we're going into. Um, you know, it's, it's very unusual for you guys, it's really unusual for me, I don't teach online, so um, it's a whole new world right now and um, we are going to have to help each other out as much as we can, right, if there are things happening or there's a, something I've set up in Blackboard that you don't think works very well. If you have any ideas, please let me know. All right, because as I said, I'm brand new at this, so I've tried to make it as simple and as easy to manage as I can, but um, you know, someone else's opinion might be different that, that I've actually not done that very well. So just let me know if you think I could change things around a little bit, okay? Um, so, first off, uh, if you haven't already, browse the Blackboard site a little bit. Um, make sure that you can find class notes, that you can open things. If anything doesn't open, let me know because it probably means I've set it incorrectly, okay? Um, we're not on campus. So again, if you haven't, I've got um, under the discussion board, I have an introduction tab. And just drop a couple of lines in there about who you are, where you are, why you're doing the class, those kinds of things. Just so that maybe we can have a better feel for who all is in the class now. You know, if we were in the classroom, you'd all get to chat and get to know each other. Um, and it's, you know, I just would like to try to make it feel a little bit more like a, a group, like a peer group. So, uh, yeah, do, do that for me. Um, and then, read the syllabus. So we're going to go through the syllabus, but I'm not going to go through every line of the syllabus. You can read that. All right, but it's really important that you read it thoroughly before you do that participation agreement. Okay? And that's because once you do the participation agreement, that's a contract. Right? You're saying that you understand what's expected of you to be successful in this class. Okay? So what I want you to do, it's important, read the syllabus very carefully. If you have any questions about anything that is on that syllabus, get in touch with me before you do your participation agreement. All right? Because once that's done, you're tied in. Okay? Does that make sense? Okay, browse through the textbook. So for those of you that are on camera now, I don't know if you can see this, it's a bit dark in our classroom. That's our textbook, okay? We're going to cover most of the chapters, not all of the chapters, but most of them, all right? Uh, there is an ebook version of this textbook. I'll talk a bit more about that when we get to the syllabus, okay? Um, we're going to use the textbook a lot, all right? So I'm not one of the faculty on campus who say, spend all your money, buy this expensive book, oh, but we're not going to look at it, all right? 
we're going to use it a lot. So you really do need to have your textbook. Okay. And then, um, last point, as I've already said, I'm going to do all my communication through Blackboard via announcements and via email messages. Unless I get an official notice from the IT department that Blackboard has crashed and it's down, everything I send to you when I'm trying to talk to you will come through your Blackboard site. Okay? Um, if anything comes up, right, you get sick, hopefully not under the current circumstances. Um, you've got an extra um, opportunity to make some money at work if you go in for an extra day. Anything that comes up, right? You have to take the dog to the bed. Doesn't matter what it is, all right? If something comes up and you can't come to class, you've got an archive to watch. If something comes up and you can't meet one of the deadlines on the syllabus, let me know, all right? I'm more than happy to give extensions if you let me know ahead of time, all right? We can always talk about alternate due dates, okay? And then, just um, a link for you there, the IT department have put together some resources for the students because working from home is is just a completely new environment and you might not have easy access to things that you need. So there's a link to a page there that hopefully will have some useful, useful information on it. able to see the syllabus hopefully and within your screen if I've done it correctly okay. okay let's have a look blurb 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 you can read all this for yourself this is the note that's on the home page of the Blackboard site so you've already read that otherwise you wouldn't be here today all right um, you can read all that Here's the information again for the textbook. And as I said, it's really important that you have the book um, to, to be successful in the class. Now, there is an e-book available um, either at the publisher website or at the e and bookstore if you haven't got your book already. Um, I'm not a big fan of e-books and the reason for that is that um, they seem like they're cheaper, right? There's significantly less money to pay out up front, but you only get access to most of these ebooks for six months to a year, right? And then they shut you off. So you end up in the long run with no resource that you paid for. Whereas if you buy a hard copy of the book, you have access to the ebook and the web page, but you get to keep your resource so that you can go back to it when you go out into the real world and, and into your job life that's connected with, with health and wellness. Right? So I like having a real book on my shelf because then I don't have to remember everything in a year's time or two years' time that we covered in class, right? I can reference back to my textbook. 
So I, I'm a big fan of the real book, but I understand that they are expensive. I'm sorry about that. I don't know why the publishers make them so expensive. Um, and as I said, there is, there is an e-book option for this one. So you can play that however you want. As long as you have access to the material during this class, then how you play that out going forwards is up to you. All right? All right. The, I haven't really changed much on my syllabus from when we had class face to face. Um, as far as I'm concerned, you know, you've paid for this class and therefore you should come to class. Now, whether you come to class live or whether under these circumstances coming to class means that you're going to watch the archive later in the day is, is up to you, all right? We all have to be flexible now. It's, it's kind of crazy, this world at the moment, right? And I can't imagine how difficult it might be for some of you trying to maneuver school around being at home. You know, you might have siblings at home who um, are playing or decide to be really noisy just when you're trying to be in class. You know, you might be trying to juggle family concerns or work concerns with school. So everybody needs to be flexible right now, all right? Um, but if you can't come live, I strongly, strongly, strongly recommend that you catch up that day's video that day, right? I want you to, as best you can, have the mindset that you are coming to school, right? Even though you're not here. And that's because um, what one of my biggest concerns about this situation, and, and we have no choice, we have to do it this way, but one of my biggest concerns is that some of you may decide, well, I've got other things to do during the week, so I'll just watch three lectures on Saturday. Okay? That's a bad idea. It's not going to happen. You won't keep it up. And then you'll fall behind, and then the outcome won't be what you want, all right? So, as I said, it's, I, as many of you that can come live as possible is great, because I don't want to teach to an empty room, all right? I'd much rather know that there's someone there who, who's watching and listening to me, because that's teaching, right? Um, but if you can't come, it will be available and you can watch it, and don't put it off, all right? Don't put it off, that will dig you into a big hole, okay? Um, the rest of that you can read. It's not all quite as relevant as normal. And assessments. All right, so here's how the assessment is going to go, okay? So I have started and I will keep plodding on with setting up the pre-chapter quizzes, all right? So before we start a new chapter, from the end of the class before to half past eight in the morning before class, there'll be a quiz open for the chapter that we're going to begin, all right? And that's my way of encouraging you to open the book and have a look at the chapter before, before the class starts, okay? Because it really helps if you come to class having an idea of what's going to be talked about, all right? And you might have some ideas of things you want to share with your classmates, okay? Um, if you never look at the book until you're trying to cram later on, then you don't get the best learning experience you can get, okay? Then, if you've already got the book, you might have seen this. If you haven't, you will see. At the back of the hard copy of the book, there's a 
workbook included. On the web page, they have the workbook in electronic form and the worksheets are in accessible PDFs. Okay? So, you're going to work through some of those worksheets. Right? Not all of them, some of them. Personal binder, I'll talk to you more about the personal binder later in the semester because it's really, um, um, a lot of it is based on these worksheets. So your personal binder, you're going to pick the six chapters that you think are the most relevant to you. And you're going to make up a binder that has your self-assessments, your changing health behaviours, and within each chapter, there's an application um, item that you can include as well for your six chapters, all right? And then you're going to put a reflection at the end, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. You're going to do a presentation with a mate. Okay? So we're going to pair up, and you're going to pick a chapter at the end of the semester. This is the last thing you're going to do. All right. You're going to pick a chapter, you're going to go into that chapter in a little bit more depth, and then you're going to tell everybody about it, all right, and share what you learn. So nothing overwhelming, hopefully. Um, and the participation um, is, is a little weird under these circumstances, but I had to do this at the end of spring. And it actually worked pretty well. I got some great feedback from the students that they really enjoyed it. So the way I have the class set up is that on a Monday, we will do an interactive lecture session. And hopefully you guys will do some discussion points, right? And get engaged with the material. Wednesdays, I have set aside for you to do your worksheets that are connected to that chapter. I'll be in the Collaborate classroom so that you can jump in and ask me questions if you're not sure about things, but there won't be a class class per se. All right? And Fridays are set aside for activities, often physical activities, but not always. Um, and Here's my reason for that. I strongly believe this is not a content class per se. Right? This is an opportunity for you to find out how to manage your own health and wellness. All right? And this is crucial, especially in these days of the pandemic, but also even before the pandemic, we were seeing a really dramatic increase in the numbers of people who are reporting stress levels, who are reporting anxiety, who are reporting depression. Okay? And we have to, in my view, uh, we have to learn some skill sets that help us to manage ourselves a little bit better. I'm no good to anybody when I'm having a panic attack, right? I'm no good to anybody. I'm like a blubbering heap on the floor. I can't help myself. I can't help my partner. If I had children, I couldn't help my children, right? So if I can learn some strategies that help me to manage not just my physical well-being, but my mental well-being, my spiritual well-being, all right? We're going to look at the big picture here in this class. That's my goal, okay? And what I want you to take away from this is what can I learn about myself that I didn't know, right? That's where we're going with this textbook, right? Each chapter is hopefully going to open some doors for you to learn about yourself and how do I manage myself under these circumstances. All right. And so on Friday, we have some fun activities to do. 
partly because um, I don't think that sitting down at a computer all week is good for you. So I want to make sure that you get some time where that isn't what you're doing and we can move around a little bit. Um, hopefully I can introduce you to some new activities that maybe you haven't tried before, but that you could start to incorporate to help you manage your mental health and physical health during this weird time in our lives, okay? Um, so I really want you to kind of, this, this should not be a stressful class, okay? This should be really fun. We are just going to play with learning things that are gonna help me be more well, right? And help you be more well. And then once I'm in control, once I know how to be well, I can start to help other people be well, right? So hopefully that didn't put you all off and you don't all drop the cast now. But I, it's gonna be fun, I promise. It's gonna be fun. All right, we've already talked about email, as I said, don't use Outlook unless you absolutely have to. Um, guidelines will be up, we'll talk about them a little bit more on Friday. Um, if you need any accommodations for any reason, all right, then get in touch with Student Academic Services. I've put the phone number in here. Um, and they will send me an email and let me know what you need to help you be successful, okay? So um, do that sooner rather than later if you think you need any accommodations, all right? Um, I don't think the integrity idea is such a big thing um, when we're not in a classroom. Like, I can't look over my shoulder and peer at what my neighbor's doing on their paper, right? So um, the, the, the cheating idea um, seems a little bit obsolete for me under these circumstances. The thing I want you to pay attention to, not just in this class, but in all your classes, all right, because this is going to be difficult when you're at home and you're getting a lot of your resources and information from the internet, okay, is the idea of plagiarism, okay. This idea of plagiarism means that you are writing a paper and you, your faculty says, you know, go on the internet, find some resources, include them in your paper. And you go and you find something really cool and you copy and paste it into your paper. And then you don't tell your faculty that that's what you did. You hand it in as if you wrote it, right? That's a no-no. It's always a no-no, okay? But it is gonna be, I think, much harder under these working from home situations than, than normal because everything you have access to is gonna be something that you're reading somewhere else, okay? So just be really careful about that. It's okay to use that information, but you have to rejiggle it. You gotta reword it and make it your own work, right? So, um, the sky is blue, okay? And I'm writing a paper and I say, um, you know, the sky is blue because I got this information from this website, right? If you can't rejig it, then you have to give credit to where you found that information. Any questions on that bit? Read that bit a little bit more thoroughly before you do your participation agreement. Any questions yet? I'm making complete sense, yay. Ryan's smiling at the back because he's worked with me for a long time. He knows I don't very often make a lot of sense. Okay. All right, so let's 
let's have a look at this. Where am I? Okay, perfect timing. All right, I have done my best to lay this out in a format that I think is relatively easy to follow, particularly if you use a ruler like I do. Um, so, date of class, what we're going to be doing in the class, the assignment list, and the date that that assignment is due. Okay? Um, let me know if this doesn't help you or if uh, you have any better ideas. Okay? So, for example, uh, we'll forget Friday, next Monday, we're going to cover some information from chapter one and have some little discussion groups, hopefully, about some of the information in chapter one. And the assignment for chapter one is um, self-assessment one and two. So those are two of the worksheets. And to read the changing health habits, because it's an example, not a worksheet. They're giving you uh, a really good example of how to fill in the rest of the worksheets under the changing health habits. Okay? And the worksheets are going to be due for the midterm week. So the date here is the 2nd of October. That isn't a typo. All right. Um, I may regret doing this, but I'm doing it because some people don't have the time and then they want to try and catch them all up at the end. That is not the best strategy in my view. I would try to get them done as we work through, but that's up to you. Okay. So the worksheets from the back of the book or from the um, website for the textbook. The first set will be due the 2nd of October. The second set will be due the 4th of December, just before finals week. Right. Wednesday is going to be your working on some of the application questions, reading a bit more around the chapter, all right, really getting into the information and what does that information mean for you personally, okay? Because this class, as I said, this is really your class to learn about what matters to you, okay? What's important? It's not a right or a wrong for most things. It's Person A has this point of view, person B has this point of view, all right? And, and this class has to be a safe space for everybody to be able to express their point of view, all right? We don't have to agree with each other to make it a safe space for expressing the opinion, all right? No one is gonna get angry, no one is gonna be mean, we're going to allow people to have different opinions from ourselves, okay? And then Friday activity, all right? And next Friday, hopefully, we're going to go for a walk, okay? You're going to film yourself going for a walk for a few minutes. You're going to walk for 30 minutes, but I don't expect you to film yourself for 30 minutes and download a little piece of film. All right. So I'm hoping you can take a look at this and the way that I've laid this out makes sense to you. Again, if you have any questions at any time on how to do it, what's expected, when is it due, all right? if this isn't clear, put it in the discussion board. Put a q and a in. Um, I'm not sure how this is going to work. So this Out of Darkness, Out of Darkness is a walk for um, the prevention of suicide. And um, the New Mexico chapter 
does a really great job with doing these community walks and they're usually a lot of fun, a great big one up in Clovis, we have a small one on campus um, and lots of people who've either lost close friends or loved ones or family members, children to suicide come and walk and it's just a really lovely experience. Um, obviously that's going to be a little bit different this year, so I'm not quite sure um, how that, how they're planning to have that. They don't have the details up yet on the website. And this is optional, right? You don't have to do this walk, but I know several people who thankfully have survived suicide attempts. Um, and I have mental health issues that I deal with all the time, that I have to take meds for, that I have to be very careful with my behaviours to manage. So it's very personal to me, um, and, and you may feel the same way. So if you want to join in, once I know what the details are, obviously there's not going to be one big community walk they're going to ask people to just go out and walk on this day at this time, I think, is how they will probably manage it. But I'll let you know, okay? And then if you want to go do it in memory of someone or in support of someone or in support of yourself, then you can join us, okay? All right, all the way down here, here's our presentations final week after Thanksgiving, so we're going to do some work giving you time to get those presentations pulled together and then your binder will be due on the Monday of finals week. All right. I am going to do my best, my goal for this semester is to reply to any email or discussion Q&A within 24 hours during the working week. That's my goal. I have no idea how crazy busy this semester is going to be. It feels like it's going to be a little bit crazy busy. But um, hopefully I can meet that goal and reply to you promptly when, when you're asking me something. Okay? And remember you've always got the office hours or a Skype meeting if you'd rather talk to me personally than send a discussion board or an email, okay? And then the last little bit here is the um, timelines for the pre-chapter quizzes because this, the schedule above looked busy already. I didn't want to put the pre-chapter quizzes in there as well, okay? So chapter one will open Friday at 10 o'clock after class and it will close at 8.30 on Monday before class starts, all right, etc. Hopefully I've got the dates right. right. I worked really hard on matching all the dates up, so I hope I've got them right. Okay. Any questions? off the bat about the syllabus, anything that you'd like to check in. Not yet. If something comes to you, you can always ask on Friday. As I said, on Friday, what I want to do is look a little more closely at how the assignments are set up in Blackboard so that you fully understand how to find them, how they're going to work, all right? And then um, we'll have a look at the website for the textbook just so that you can see how it's laid out in case you haven't got your book yet. I know some people were waiting and the book's not going to show up until Monday or Tuesday. And um, in your defense, the bookstore forgot to order my books. So my books were going late to the bookstore anyway. 
Um, and I gave them the order in March, and I found out last week that they hadn't ordered them. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so, you know, if you're getting your textbook a little bit late, then uh, at least Friday you'll have an idea of what to expect once you get that key code and you can get into the website for yourself. Questions or anything else you feel you need to know today before Friday? Nothing? Well, that's good. <laughs> I think that's good. Be sitting on the question if you've got one. It's difficult talking to a camera and not being able to see you. Maybe I'll go back to me on the screen and then perhaps I'll be able to see you.